Frida Bastide lived about a mile away from the teenager who murdered her. She was 73 years old, 30 years older than her killer will be when he walks out of prison this week, decades early. As you can imagine, rather, her family does not think that's very fair. Walter Smith Randolph reports from Ripley County. Jim Bastide says his grandmother's murder was so brutal they didn't even have a funeral for her. Instead, they cremated her and buried her here in Ripley County. He says he knows keeping his grandmother's murderer behind bars for his full sentence will not bring his grandmother back, but he thinks it's the right thing to do. My grandma was supposed to be here for Sunday for dinner, okay, and something told me something was wrong and I didn't want to go over to the house. It was 1991. Frida Busteed was found raped and beaten to death. And he beat her head completely off. And we had pieces of her skull and hair all over the house that we had to pick up and clean up. As if the pain of that memory isn't enough, Jim is reminded as Lewis Hunter will walk free next week. The problem I guess that bothers me now is he's going to be able to possibly have children. Hunter is 44 years old. He was sentenced at 16 to 60 years in prison. He pled guilty to murder, admitting to beating Frida to death with a lamp. In Indiana, prisoners can be released early because of good behavior. Busteed says he always knew that could mean just 30 years, but an additional two? If, you know, you think you're getting out and you're all ready to get out and they make you do the other two years, would just be a little more punishment. But does it change anything? Not really. But when you do the crime, you're supposed to do the time. Well, I think he should. I mean, I'm not, you know, and I'm not expecting, I mean, that's all the law Indiana stated was he had to do half his time. You know, I don't think that a murderer should get out on good behavior. In Versailles, Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Hunter is currently on work release near Indianapolis. His time as a prisoner is over Sunday. Neither the Ripley County prosecutor nor Indiana Department of Corrections returned our calls.